Hey what's up guys, today we'll be unboxing the Dark Zone edition of The Division 2. The reason I really wanted this collector's edition is uh, because I've got the collector's edition of the previous Division game, so the first Division game. And I, that is the first unboxing I've ever done, so that was pretty for sentimental value. Um, I also picked this up at a local game store, uh, which is where it was on discount, so it was quite cheap, because this game has been out for quite a while. Let us remove the stickers and let's open this thing up. Already we can see a glimpse of the statue. Oh yeah, there it is. Covered in a lot of plastic. Let me see how I can get it out. Um, oh, it's just loose in there. Okay. Let me get all this plastic off. So the nice thing about this is the statue is the same as the art of the game, so like uh, on the outside of the box you see the female division soldier with her flag gun and the multi-shot grenade launcher. Um, and as you can see here, the statue is of her. She's also in a lot of art of the uh, game itself, like in trailers and stuff like that. But there should be some other stuff in this collector's edition, so let me take a look at these. We will get to close-ups later, like photos of it, so you can really see the details. Okay, we've got the soundtrack and we've got the map as you can see. So let's open up the map. So a really nice thing uh, about the maps from Ubisoft is they have been including that on um, Everton's Assassin's Creed Syndicate I think. On the maps, like on the side you've got now sort of ads from the time uh, related to the game. Uh, and where it plays of course, which is a really really nice detail. So the maps from Far Cry had that um, And as I said like even the map from Assassin's Creed Syndicate had that. They had like these uh, old looking vintage uh, Ads on the side, so that was really really cool The backside of this map is also a poster as you can see It's really really nice We also have a little art book. And here you can see some of the concept art from the game, which is something I always really, really like. It's nice to look through when, uh, when you're playing the game and, uh, and have played the game. Like, It's always nice to see the concept art on which every place was based and see the changes. We've got the game itself, of course. It's only the standard edition, by the way. So here we've got some weapon packs, some weapon DLC packs, or like weapon skins, um, and skins for your character. But this is the standard edition of the game, as I said. Um, so there's no season pass included. Let's see if there's anything else in that box. We've got the game itself, with a nice art on it. You've got some like manual leaflets or warranty and some adverts from like the season pass and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much everything in this collector's edition. I'm gonna show the close-ups now. So, so one of the first things I noticed was like there's a difference between the statue and the art. Um, on the box itself, so you've got a watch on the hand with which he's holding the grenade launcher, as you can see. Classic Division watch. It's not there on the statue. 
it's actually on the other hand, like on the wrist, uh, on the hand holding the flag, and of course. As for the rest, the detailing on this is really, really nice. They truly put some effort in the textures of the cones, the hair, like the clothing, like even on the jeans, and the armor pieces, of course. And even on the gas mask, uh, like on the filter stuff, which is really, really nice. And also the letters on the grenades, or like the flashbangs. Another place where they really put in some nice detailing is on the box itself, like the inner side of the box. As you can see, there's quite some art on it as well. So yeah, that's pretty much everything in this collector's edition. There will be a couple of more smaller collector's editions coming in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for those and I hope you enjoyed this.